In this video, we're going to continue our discussion of binomial distributions and do another practice problem. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So a certain type of pumpkin seed germinates 75% of the time. A backyard farmer plants 15 seeds. What is the expected number of seeds that will germinate? Well, we can think expected number, expected value. So our expected value, we're dealing with a binomial distribution. How do we know we're dealing with a binomial distribution? Well, we're talking about do they germinate or do they not? Effectively, that's germinate means grow. So do the seeds grow or do they not? So the expected value is equal to n times p, where n is equal to 15. That's our number of trials. And our probability of success is 0.75. So we get 15 times 0 0.75, which gives us an expected value of 11.25 seeds. So our answer to A is complete. Now, B, what is the standard deviation? So let's start with our variance. So our variance of X is equal to N times P times one minus P. Well, we know that Q is equal to one minus P. So Q is equal to one minus 0 0.75. So Q must equal 0 0.25. So we have 15 times 0 0.75 times 0 0.25. So 15 times 0 0.75 times 0 0.25 gives us 2.8125. And then we're asked for our standard deviation. So we know that our standard deviation is equal to the square root of n times p times q, which is also equal to the square root of the variance of x. And so we take the square root of 2.81, square root of 2.8125, which gives us a final answer here of 1.67705. So that's our standard deviation. Question C asks us, what is the probability that exactly eight seeds will germinate? Okay, so C, the probability that X is equal to eight is equal to N factorial divided by X factorial times N minus X factorial times our probability of success to the power of our number of successes, times our probability of failure to the power of n minus x. That's our equation. So let's fill in some values here. So we get 15 factorial, that's our number of trials, times divided by x factorial, which is eight, 15 minus eight factorial times 0 0.75 to the power of eight, times 0 0.25 to the power of 15 minus eight. So what we get here is 15 factorial divided by eight factorial times seven factorial, 0 0.75 to the power of eight times 0 0.25 to the power of seven. So let's break this into some steps here. So 15 factorial divided by 8 factorial times 7 factorial gives us 6,435 times 0 0.75 to the power of 8, which is equal to 0 0.1001 times 0 0.25 to the power of 7 which is equal to 0 0.0000061035. All we're gonna do here is multiply, so times 0 0.75 to the power of eight times 6,435, which gives us a final answer here of 0 0.3, 0 0.03932. So that's our probability that X is equal to eight. 
And then finally, the last part of this question asks us, what is the probability that 13 seeds or less will germinate? Okay, well, D, the probability that 13 seeds or less will germinate. So the probability that X is less than or equal to 13 is equal to one minus the probability that X is greater than or equal to 14. So let's go ahead and calculate the probability that X is equal to 14 is equal to 15 factorial divided by 14 factorial times 15 minus 14 factorial times 0 0.75 to the power of 14 times 0 0.25 to the power of one. So 15 factorial divided by 14 factorial times one factorial gives us 15 times 0 0.75 to the power of 14 times 0 0.017818 times 0 0.25 to the power of one, which is just 0 0.25. So we get this is equal to 0 0.06682. That's the probability that X is equal to exactly 14. What about the probability that X is equal to 15? Well, this is just equal to 15 factorial divided by 15 factorial times zero factorial, 0 0.75 to the power of 15 times 0 0.25 to the power of zero. So we get one times 0 0.75 to the power of 15 times 0 0.25 to the power of zero is equal to one. So effectively 0 0.75 to the power of 15 gives us 0. 01336. So the probability that X is less than or equal to 13 is equal to one minus the probability that X is greater than or equal to 14. So the probability that X is great is greater than or equal to 14 is equal to the probability that X is equal to 14 plus the probability of X is equal to 15. Well, this is equal to 0 0.06682, as we calculated right here, plus the probability that X is equal to 15, which is 0 0.01336. So 0 0.01336 plus 0 0.06682 gives us 0 0.08018. So that's the probability that X is greater than or four, greater than or equal to 14. So we go back here. So one minus 0 gives us a probability of 0 0.91982. And there we have it, we've completed this question. So just as a refresher, we've calculated the expected number, we've calculated the standard deviation, we've calculated the prob probability that there was exactly eight seeds that germinated, as well as the probability that 13 seeds or less would germinate. That's it for this video, but if you found that it helped make statistics easy, consider showing your support by giving the video a like. And if you still need more help with statistics, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.